Hi, I'm Fox. Couch guy. You're watching the Two Smart Guys Show, where every week we bring you the latest and greatest in technology news, hacks, mods, getting the most out of your defunct boxes that are lying around. Well, at least owning them while, you know, owning them is still nice to have. And I mean owning, <laughs> not just possessing. So, if you have been watching our show for any period of time, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Boxy and had a chance to hang out with the guys that developed it, and I have a couple boxes at my house. Uh, a couple. A couple. And, you know, they've grown as a company, and their whole point was to take this open source media center and get it out to the masses, uh, package it in a more friendly consumer way. Well, make it a way so that someone who didn't want to make their own computer version could buy something and just be done with it because that was going to be like the, the stop block that you had to make your own HTPC home theater PC and then installed boxing and it worked great and it was, everybody loved it of those people who were willing to make a home theater PC if you weren't willing to and you wanted something to just take home and sit down and plug in well that's not what they did and they wanted to do that so that's what they did yeah so the boxy box is that it's like your homebrew home theater pc that's packaged all together and ready for you to use unfortunately that's not really what the masses are wanting because they is too too much for them so they've decided to go the route of making a, a much smaller simpler roku-esque boxy very TV. vanilla box yeah and it's still got some really cool features like a cloud dvr which is great if you live in one of the markets that can take advantage of it. I'm not in one of those markets. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, so people, the hackers and the whatnot have decided to keep developing on the box because Boxy has abandoned said box. They have made it very clear that they are moved on. So, so we are we are taking possession. Yeah. So this is this is the Boxy Plus hacks custom firmware rooting jailbreaking ish no, no, process. No. Ten steps ten steps to owning your boxy box. <laughs> right. So anyways, here's the steps. It's actually uh, real easy. Uh, okay, step one. You gotta download the package. So you just browse on over to boxyplus.com. And while you're downloading that, you need to pop in a little USB stick or SD card and format it with the name Boxy, all capital letters. Copy the contents of what you've downloaded uh, inside the install folder over to the root of your USB or SD card. Take it out, plug it into your Boxy box, browse on your Boxy box to the settings, network, servers section, enable Windows file sharing, and then inside of the host name, you need to add this code right here, which is uh, semicolon sh space. Uh, forward it's very slash important. media. Yeah, the space is very important. That's where I was messing up. Media boxy install dot sh, which basically is just the path for this little script that's going to run. Yeah, and you have to get. If you ever have problems, if we're running this, this is the first place you should look, because more often than not, something silly like missing the the space between the sh and the forward slash, or forgetting to put boxy in all caps, can really be the big cat. Right. Cat also, um, accidentally not having a semicolon, but having um, a, co uh, a colon. A colon. That that, that makes yeah. a difference as well. So if you just go out of the network portion of the menu, your boxy box should turn red. And that means it's working. And this will take a while. This will run for a minute or two. And that means it's running the script and it's it's pwning or owning your boxy box. It'll reboot. It'll have a new screen on it, a new skin. And you can go into the menus and you can fiddle with it and have all the fun new features such as um, it makes it faster and streaming's better and it gives you m way more customization uh there's like fan art uh overlays for 3d and concerts ftp access oh yeah ftp and you know what it looks like they also added some more of the xbmc advanced settings that they had originally stripped out of the boxy box when they delivered it so that should be some interesting things to you know play with yeah so have fun uh you know, hack your own your your boxy box. Post in Take the comments. Back. Yeah, uh, post in the comments below on what you found that's cool about this mod. I'm sure they're going to keep updating it, so keep checking back on their website. In fact, um, there's a portion in there where the firmware will update itself. 
So that's that's pretty cool as well. So there you have it. You're back to ownership of your box since someone abandoned it and you want to take it in out of the cold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in the show. Please subscribe to our feed. That's how we get our um, funding to pay for hosting and whatnots. And we'll see you guys yeah. next week. New show every Monday. That's a wrap. Yeah. Print it. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. <laughs>